Despite recording tremendous growth in the last five years, India's radio taxi market is still in its infancy. According to the Ministry of Road Transport, there are over 2 million registered taxis plying on Indian roads. The organized taxi market accounts for less than 5% of this number, but is fast attracting big funding. Siddharth Pawa of Meru Cabs, India's largest radio taxi operator, says this market is growing at 30% annually and is poised for more. With the high potential in the market and with the uh, good CAGR that the uh, companies are seeing, uh, there is a good quality money coming into this market. The second reason is also that every car and every trip can deliver money and that is why you are seeing now more and more investors are coming into this market. Since 2011, the Indian radio taxi market has seen venture capitalists and private equity investors pump in some serious money. $7 million in 2012 and about $30 million last year. Experts believe this trend is likely to continue. In some ways, the there aren't any significant entry barriers. So there are a bunch of these guys which have come in and, you know, if you were to acquire your own vehicles, there is going to be a significant amount of capital requirement that you will have, though some of the recent models are actually capital light in that sense, the recent ones that have come up. Um, and I think that's where the need for funding, because, you know, these are obviously, you know, in some cases, first first generation entrepreneurs, and that's where the need for funding. And that, I think, has been dri driving the, the, the P interest. Many state governments are giving Philips to radio taxi operators as they believe that efficient transport is an absolute necessity for a fast emerging economy. Any car in India does an average of about 1200 kilometers per month, which brings a cost of roughly about 33 rupees per kilometer, uh, along with the hassles of parking place, etc., etc. Now, with the good quality radio taxi services available at about 20 to 25 rupees a kilometer, uh, many people are evaluating this and saying that it is actually worthwhile to have radio taxi as a solution rather than have your own car. And that is why we believe that this market is poised for growth. The past year also saw the Google-backed San Francisco-based Uber cabs drive into India. There are over 15 radio taxi services employing various business models operating in India right now. As these scale up further, operators' next focus will be to differentiate themselves from competing services. I think obviously the first movers will continue to have an advantage over uh, the new guys but I would see I would I would believe that over a period of time there should be some amount of consolidation which you would expect in the market as you're seeing in a number of other consumer businesses for that matter uh, and I think that uh, uh, that is that that's something which is bound to happen